Welcome to Traveling Young. We're so excited because we hit 1,000 subscribers. subscribers. Woohoo! Throw Woo the confetti. We're the Youngs. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois, to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. Hello! We are so excited and yes. thankful that we hit 1,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> it's I just crazy. cannot believe that this thing we started five months ago has uh, hit, hit, it's just been, it's been Yeah, incredible. it's like the past couple of days have been like crazy town for us. So yeah. like we never, I don't think I would ever thought that we would get to a thousand this quickly. Yeah, so we wanted to put a quick video together to first thank you guys. <laughs> to because <the> tech. <laughs> you are the ones that helped us get here and also tell a little bit about our journey and what are the things that we learned along the way about how to actually <laughs> yeah. get Run, to a thousand subscribers. Right. YouTube, YouTube video. Yeah. yeah, and so the first thing is we're gonna talk about a couple of videos that got us here. The first one is the very first video that we posted, which was about Iceland. So yeah. Miranda and I went to Iceland in July, and I'm like, let's get a drone. That was, which was awesome. I watched so yeah. many YouTube videos about Iceland before I went. I'm like, I can take videos that look we this nice. This. And then you just post it on YouTube, and yeah. everybody's going to look at it. <laughs> That's the least viewed video that we have. We don't say a single word. It's like the first 45 minutes of Wally. No there's words me are spoken. There's majestically standing. Yeah, there's over a couple prayers. of you randomly standing yeah. over things, and uh, <laughs> and we learned from that that pretty pictures and drones are, are enough. not enough <laughs> to actually tell a story, and so we evolved from that point. By the yeah. way, we do plan to redo that with us talking about Iceland because it was such an amazing trip. Yeah. We do want to share some of what we did because we had such yeah, a great time. Yeah, it was so cool. Rented a camper van, drove all around. It was amazing. Yeah. But that will be in the future. Maybe but just more yeah. advanced storytelling. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but we learned that just pictures aren't enough. You actually need to tell a story. Yeah. That was the first lesson we learned. Speaking of storytelling. Yes. Speaking of storytelling, one, another video that is still super popular today is when we went to Newhound. Um, this video we filmed on my birthday weekend, yes. and it was like one of the first times that we really like went out in public and were like talking, yeah, just in front of people filming videos. And I was super nervous because I like wanted to get all the historical facts right. Yeah. And Josh Miranda, was like, "You're too tight." Yeah, she was like, "This and it, it's this and it's this and it." I'm like, "Calm down." I'm like, "In 1770, it needs to be a conversation." <laughs> yeah, it was so, it was so much fun just getting to walk around the city and do that, and. Um, yeah, that's... Yeah, and we also learned then, that's when we started posting two videos a week. Yeah. yeah. And we yeah. learned that consistency is important. Yes. And yes. YouTube Very algorithms much. like to know that you're going to consistently be a creator. And so we started posting two videos a week, and that eventually paid off. It took a while. It we did. had to get 10, 15, 20 videos up. But no matter what, we just kept at it two a week. And that was the first time that we really set that path. Yeah. yeah. And now it's become like a family thing. So it's, yeah. it's fun. Yeah. And so the third thing that we did was we started, uh, once we kind of got things going, we started investing in lighting and some more camera equipment, uh, more microphones, and to make the experience better because what we had just wasn't quite enough. Yeah, and that was really featured in the video where we talked about moving here yes. from America. Yeah. And that's also the first time that we sat and like were really open and yeah. felt like comfortable enough to really openly talk. Yeah. Yeah, like the new hot video was more of like a tourist thing, but this video was like us. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I think it was more the first time we really became people. Yeah, and, and, and we yeah. like really wanted to be very open and honest about like this is what it was like moving because I know we talked about things that like you know didn't go so well. Yeah. So, so I mean, <laughs> like you know, we make these travel videos and stuff, but that video video we hoped would feel for you guys that we were actually you know people behind the camera. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so I actually set up two cameras. I remember posting a picture on our personal Instagram or like a video about mm, yeah. like the setup with all the lights and the camera. And that was like friends really were like, overwhelming. Friends were like, wow, what are you guys yeah. doing? <laughs> and then we shot it and we actually, it took me two weeks to really edit it and stuff. Yeah. Because I wanted to make while. sure we took it right. So it was a couple of weeks before we actually posted it. By that point though, I had spent so much time learning about editing and I'd gotten a little bit better. 
and yeah. I started to like feel more comfortable actually. Was it actually coming back to you? Putting, like well, this is what I yeah. did years ago, but I mean, I started, took a while. I was like learning tricks and I'd spent tons of time watching videos from people like Peter McKinnon and all kinds of folks that have yeah. all these great tutorials out there to help understand how to use these tools. And that's when I really got down to editing, yeah. really tried to learn how to make the story work and a good flow. And we had all the right equipment. And that is still the most popular video that we have there, yet. There has been a lot of watching YouTube to learn how to do YouTube. Yeah, but yeah. That, was, that was the one that turned the tide. Because yeah. after that video, we started yeah. to actually get more traffic and stuff. Yeah, so. and after that, it was more Danish followers. Yeah. And that's the point. So originally, we created that video thinking Americans would be interested in that. Yeah. Like, how do you move to Europe? Yeah. yeah. And we never anticipated it would be so interesting to Danes. Danes, yeah. And that's, that's the big point, too, because that's when we started to learn that we needed to respond to mm. people and start to create content that would be interesting to people and yeah. not necessarily what we think would be interesting, yeah. but things yeah. that yeah. other people would be interesting. And so that leads us to um, the next thing, which is during that time, we started taking some trips around. Maya and I spent a week, um, week 42, and went mm. to a bunch of different places around Denmark. Yeah, we made a few videos on that. A and then Miranda and I went to uh, Eru and Kolding yeah. and places too. And those, a lot of those ideas came from you guys suggesting things for yeah, us to do yeah and that's when we started to say wow we need to really take in what we're learning from people and incorporate that yeah. in the stuff that we especially create especially colding because i never would have thought to go there like that wasn't like oh we really need to go to this place somebody had suggested it in the comments like you should really go here and so we did and it was fabulous yeah and i think what what those two things together talking more being more open about us and taking those trips and responding to yeah. what people said let us know that it was important to get connected with people mm. and if folks connected with us and we're more open to make that happen then people would connect to wherever we went if yeah. it was colding yeah. or if it was Eru or if it was arhus it doesn't matter places that typically people don't go to and that way we can actually kind of be weaved in as part yeah. of the story and that started to become our style of, of telling stories so all this kind of was a big evolution yeah. certainly from the beginning yeah uh, but then i think one of the cool things that Maya's going to talk about is shooting with friends and stuff yeah that is so much fun it's always fun to have you know more people in our videos and we started doing that with the candy videos yes the candy yeah the candy videos um, and that was just super fun, getting to shoot with all of our friends, get some new faces and yeah. new people in our videos. And uh, they can also really influence the storytelling, like when we had our friend Thomas on to tell us about the history of J-Day. Yeah, and that have, was fun. Uh, your friend on to tell us yeah, about Peter, about beer, drinking, beer drinking. Thing. Yeah. yeah, so we've started to try to, you know, incorporate... Uh, friends of ours and Thanksgiving the Thanksgiving yeah. video oh yeah the Thanksgiving of, video some of the yeah. same people from the candy video plus a couple new folks uh -huh. um, it and may that, be a while before friends can come over yeah, it might yeah. Not, but <laughs> it still it makes it fun for us and I think yeah. it also brings some like, humanity and stuff and yeah. you know, shows yeah. it's real that's really us with uh, the people we became friends with and that yeah. I think really shaped some of the stories and some of the videos and when we can we will keep keep doing that when yeah. things are back, back up Definitely. again I have a really good friend in Berlin who's we were supposed Dying to go to Berlin to, and we couldn't yeah. go. And she's got a whole thing mapped out for us when we go there and is <laughs> yeah. very excited about being in And video. we actually have friends in, in quite a few places. So, yeah, I, I think, so yeah. we got lots well, of connections for <laughs> more yeah. friends videos around. in the future at some point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so the last thing we learned. <laughs> the last thing we learned is that sometimes you think you have a great idea and it's a huge flop. And that was my biscuits and gravy video. But even better, what we learned is don't be afraid to try yeah, something different. Yeah, we did it anyway. And I mean, it was you know, fun. it was it was fun to do, and we were open to trying new ideas yeah. because we can't travel. We're at home. We had a lot of time at Christmas, and you know, we will always try new stuff. Yeah. And if it doesn't work out, then we just won't it's okay, do it again. We just won't do it again. <laughs> we had planned to do a couple cooking videos, yeah. like uh, Abel Skiva and. Uh, Chicken and waffles. I realized that the other night I had the Able Skewer pan. I yeah, was like, even, oh, I never made yeah, that video. We bought the Able Skewer pan and everything. <laughs> but um, that's okay. We learned that things sometimes things work, some don't work, you and know that's what? all we right. We had a delicious dinner of biscuits and yeah. gravy. And that we night, did have so chicken and waffles later. We just waffles. didn't put it on video. We just yeah. ate it anyway, just, and it was super good. You guys uh, just don't want to <laughs> enjoy chicken and waffles, I guess. So. But I'd say all together, <laughs> what we've learned is like, for me, Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can say what we individually got out of it. <laughs> I've gotten out of this the fact that it's, uh, I feel so much more connected to the country mm -hmm. and being yeah. in Denmark and the people because everybody is so positive. And I read every comment 
Yeah. Um, even the ones that are not super positive, but I still yeah. read them all. <laughs> and I comment and I reply to most of them because it means a lot to me to be engaged with everybody. And the uh, feedback you give us is, is just super cool. And it just makes us feel so much more welcome. Yeah. Um, not that I didn't feel welcome before, but I definitely do now. And this has been a great thing and a cool thing for us all to do together. Yeah. yeah. It's just for me such a fun way to like share our lives and stuff. Mm. I mean, like we have, you know, we all have Instagrams and Facebooks and I have TikTok and whatever. But this is just a super fun new way to have like a family thing. Yeah, it's fun to, for the, a, as a family we do it. Yeah. Yeah to show our lives to people. Yeah. And I think for me, one thing that's been really surprising is that, I, I guess I never really thought about it, but there's really not that much content about Denmark when you go on YouTube. Like, you know, we tried to find stuff about colding. We tried to find stuff about the different places that we've gone. And we really kind of realized that, you know, unfortunately for the Danish audience, they're outside of Copenhagen. Really, yeah. People really don't make content Just about the rest of Denmark. And so... Yeah. I mean, there's some sporadic things. Yeah, maybe um, some Aarhus sprinkled in there. Yeah. 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 Colding, though, there isn't very much there's at nothing. all. Or cooling. Cooling. Say, right? cooling. Cooling, there isn't very much at all, which uh, I'm amazed because it's such a cool place. Yeah. We um, found a lot of videos that was like, you know, just... A video without any kind of people talking. It was just like, yeah, like know, my Iceland music, video, like the Iceland video, which I've learned, but as we said, <laughs> is not a great way to be successful on YouTube. But there's so many beautiful places outside of of Copenhagen, even outside of Aarhus, that yeah. you know we've discovered just in the past couple months. And I, I think it's it's really fun to be able to not only do it from a perspective of somebody who's not natively Danish, but also. Um, you know, just kind of do it and, and say Denmark is so much more than, than Copenhagen and, and show, yeah. kind of showcase it. So that's travel stuff, but I will say when it comes to just Americans in Denmark, yeah, um, Kelly's videos have been yeah, super good. Definitely. Kelly's, uh, if you haven't watched My, My Dude, Dude Danish Life, yeah. we uh, please check her out. She's a super great person and she's also from Chicago, close to us. Yeah. And we've been able to connect with her a little and her videos around her experiences and yeah, her family definitely. and a Danish family have been super cool to learn and the different part of Denmark yeah. that she's from. So And she's got a, a slightly different journey from us because she's here on family reunification. She has a Danish husband and so she has children and so, but we're, we're as fully American family. So she's yeah. got definitely, a, you know, an interesting perspective that I, I think is worth hearing as well. Yeah. So that was helpful to us as we first yeah, got here and sure. as we keep seeing the stuff she does. Um, so anyway, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of people that influenced along the way mm, as well, yeah. but no. we just wanted to just do something uh, real fast and uh, just tell you, it probably wasn't <laughs> fast because we're not no. super fast. <laughs> Surf is definitely casual. I didn't even do the full light setup up really. No. Yeah. But we, we thank you so much. Thank you. We've got some cool ideas on things we want to do. We appreciate everybody watching and uh, being a part of this journey with us. And uh, we can't yeah. wait till we see when we get to 5,000 or 10,000. Yeah, we'll see. Whatever, what? who knows, we're rocking and rolling. But for now, thank you and uh, we appreciate it. We'll see yeah. you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, 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 this is right, this is right.